the chameleon's abilities in Kung Fu Panda 4 explained and how powerful she is compared to past villains. Kung Fu Panda 4 introduces a new villain in the form of the chameleon, Viola Davis, a shape-shifting antagonist that proves herself a powerful adversary for Poe, Jack Black. The latest installment of the DreamWorks franchise sees the chameleon trying to get her hands on the Staff of Wisdom, hoping to use it to grow more powerful. As Poe also searches for a new dragon warrior, he teams up with the thieving Corsac Fox Zhen, Aquafina, to stop the chameleon from taking over China. Unlike previous installments of the franchise, the Furious Five are absent in Kung Fu Panda 4, meaning Poe and Zhen are forced to face their new opponent on their own. This leads to an adventure full of comedic moments and exciting fights, all of which culminate in a confrontation with the chameleon. While Poe is no stranger to defending China and the Valley of Peace from major threats, the chameleon proves herself to be quite different from the villains he's faced before. During his journey, Poe follows Zhen to Juniper City, a faraway location that the chameleon rules over. When Zhen takes him to where the villain resides, Poe is trapped, forcing him to give the Staff of Wisdom to the fox so she can free him. However, it's revealed that she is working with the chameleon, giving the staff to her so she can use its powers. Getting her hands on the staff was part of her plan to steal the Kung Fu abilities of deceased masters and become the greatest martial artist in China. The chameleon uses the staff's abilities to bring dead masters back from the spirit realm, including the real Tai Lung, Lord Shen, and General Kai, all of whom are villains from the previous movies. She then uses its powers to steal their unique Kung Fu abilities, combining it with her shape-shifting powers to perfectly imitate their move sets. While her power grab inadvertently leads to Tai Lung's redemption in Kung Fu Panda 4, her true goal has nothing to do with the masters she steals from. What she cares about is taking all their Kung Fu for herself. While there are many powerful Kung Fu Panda villains throughout the franchise, the chameleon proves herself to be an incredibly formidable antagonist. While Tai Lung, Shen, and Kai were all powerful forces for Po to face off against, the chameleon is able to perfectly match all their kung fu skills. Because she ends up consuming the powers of dozens of masters by the time she fights Po, she is the strongest villain he's ever faced by a very large margin. At the end of Kung Fu Panda 4, the chameleon uses all her powers to become a giant, monstrous version of herself, bearing physical attributes of every master she stole powers from. This amalgamation is a visual representation of just how strong she is, able to use the combined force of every deceased kung fu master to become a powerful monster. However, she proves no match for Po and Zhen, who use the Staff of Wisdom to free the deceased masters and give them back their kung fu. While the chameleon gets dragged to the spirit realm at the end of the movie, her shape-shifting abilities and kung fu stealing make her the franchise's most powerful villain so far. She may not have the natural skills of Tai Lung nor the armies of Shen, but her cunning ploy to steal dead masters kung fu allowed her to become the strongest adversary in the franchise. This means Kung Fu Panda 4 had the most dangerous antagonists so far, something that makes the film a worthy continuation of Poe's story.